Hello students, come on we'll start the main problems on contract costing. Already we have covered up the short problems on contract costing and those short problems are concerned with calculating the profit to be transferred to profit and loss account. Those calculations we have seen in short questions. Now we are going to start the main problems. Remember the problems depends on the theory concepts. So if you have not watched the theory video, please go to the video which is exclusively on introduction, theoretical part of this contract costing. If you have carefully watched the theory video, definitely you can enjoy doing this main problems. Problems depends on the conceptual clarity. So you should be clear regarding what is contract costing, how to make the contract account, how to find out the profit to be transferred to PNL account, all these things I have discussed in detail. And now we'll start the main problem. But before starting the problem, I suggest, I request the viewers to please get a hard copy of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So keep the problems ready. Now I'm starting the first problem. See the first main problem. Following amounts have been spent on a contract still incomplete on 31st March 1997. So we are closing the accounts on 31st March 1997. On this date, the contract of a contractor is still incomplete. Now material 80,000. During the year, the contractor has spent 80,000 rupees on material. Wages 70,000. Direct charges 50,000. So these are the expenditure he has incurred. So all this expenditure will take on the debit side of contract account. Contract account is a nominal account. All expenses will take it on the debit side. Then rupees 2 lakh have been received from the contractee being 80% of work certified. 2 lakh rupees cash has been received from the contractee. Suppose I am the contractor. From the contractee I got 2 lakh rupees. I received 2 lakh rupees. And this 2 lakh rupees represent 80% of work certified. 80% of work certified. But how much is the work certified? We have to multiply cash received into 100 by 80. 100 by 80. In 80 percent ke hisab se 2 lakh rupees ho raha hai, to 100 percent ke hisab se kitna hoga? How much would be at 100 percent? So work certified is not given in the problem. We have to find out. How to find out work certified? Cash received into 100 by 80. Right? And uh, calculate the profit. To be created to PNL account, uncertified work in progress being 10,000. The work uncertified is 10,000. Total value of the contract is 4 lakh rupees. Contract price, 4 lakh. Now we have to find out how much profit to be transferred to PNL account. We are making a contract account. See here, contract account. Debit side to material to wages to direct charges. These are the three expenditure given in the problem. Credit side we take work in progress. Under work in progress, we take work certified and work uncertified. So work certified is cash received into 100 by 80. How much is the cash received? 2 lakh. Into 100 by 80, it will become 2 lakh 50,000. So this 2 lakh 50,000 is the work certified which is not given in the problem. We have calculated. How we have calculated? By using the formula cash received into 100 by 80 because 80% 80 cash is received. Now work uncertified 10,000 given in the problem. Now take the total on the credit side, 2 lakh 50,000 plus 10,000, 2 lakh 60,000. From 2 lakh 60,000 subtract minus 80,000, minus 70,000, minus 50,000. The balancing figure is called a notional profit, imaginary profit. So how much is the notional profit? 60,000. So carry it down, brought down. Now we have to divide this notional profit into how much profit to be transferred to PNL account and how much amount should be transferred to reserve. Yeah, pura jitna profit aaya, pura profit ko profit and loss account ko transfer nahi karte. Kyunki contract complete nahi hua. Contract is still work in progress. So a part of the notional profit will be transferred to PNL account and the other part will be transferred to reserve. So is ke liye by a notional profit carried down balancing figure and take the below the total. Below the total take by notional profit brought down. 60. Ye carried down hai, yaan par brought down. Total ke upar carried down, total ke niche brought down. Right? By notional profit brought down 60,000. Ab ye 60,000 me se amount to be transferred to profit and loss account. So debit side to profit and loss account working note. In working note, we have to find out how much profit to be transferred to PNL account. 
आउट ऑफ सिक्सटी थाउजेंड यह सिक्सटी थाउजेंड नोशनल प्रॉफिट में से कितना प्रॉफिट ट्रांसफर करेंगे और उसके बाद यह ट्रांसफर करने के बाद रिमेनिंग बैलेंस विल बी ट्रांसफर टू रिजर्व तो टू वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस रिजर्व बैलेंसिंग फिगर तो हाउ यू गॉट दिस थर्टी टू ट्वेंटी एट आई एम शोइंग इट इन द वर्किंग नोट सी परसेंटेज ऑफ वर्क कंप्लीटेड एक्चुअली प्रॉफिट टू बी ट्रांसफर टू पी एन एल अकाउंट डिपेंड ऑन हाउ मच परसेंटेज वर्क हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड तो फॉर्मुला इज वर्क सर्टिफाइड बाई कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइस इन टू हंड्रेड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइस इज सेवन लाख रुपीज फोर लाख रुपीज गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइस इज फोर लैख एंड हाउ मच इज द वर्क सर्टिफाइड हियर टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड चार लाख रुपए का कॉन्ट्रैक्ट है लेकिन आर्किटेक्ट सर्टिफिकेट कितने का दिया है टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड का वर्क सर्टिफाइड हो गया तो टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड बाई फोर लैख इन टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट सिक्सटी टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट मीन इट इज ओवर फिफ्टी परसेंट एंड थ्योरी इन द थ्योरी सेशन आई एक्सप्लेन यू इफ द वर्क इज कंप्लीटेड मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट देन प्रॉफिट टू बी ट्रांसफर टू पी एन एल अकाउंट इज नोशनल प्रॉफिट इन टू टू बाई थ्री इन टू परसेंटेज ऑफ कैश रिसीव तो सिंस द वर्क इज कंप्लीटेड ओवर फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ प्रॉफिट टू बी ट्रांसफर टू पी एन एल अकाउंट इज नोशनल प्रॉफिट इन टू टू बाई थ्री इन टू परसेंटेज ऑफ कैश नोशनल प्रॉफिट सिक्सटी थाउजेंड टू बाई थ्री इन टू परसेंटेज ऑफ कैश रिसीव इज गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम एटी परसेंट द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हैज पेड एटी परसेंट टू द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सो पॉइंट एट तो मल्टीप्लाई देन विल गेट थर्टी टू थाउजेंड तो आउट ऑफ सिक्सटी थाउजेंड थर्टी टू थाउजेंड रुपीज इज द प्रॉफिट टू बी ट्रांसफर टू पी एन एल अकाउंट रिमेनिंग बैलेंसिंग फिगर सिक्सटी थाउजेंड माइनस थर्टी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड रुपीज विल ट्रांसफर टू वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस दैट इज रिजर्व दैट्स इट सो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द फर्स्ट मेन प्रॉब्लम आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू इन डिटेल कम सी द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम ए बिल्डिंग कॉन्ट्रैक्टर हैविंग अंडरटेकन कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्क एट ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइस ऑफ सिक्स लैख तो कॉन्ट्रैक्ट प्राइस इज गिवन सिक्स लैख Began the execution of the work on first January 1979. The following are the particulars of the contract up to 31st December 1979. After one year, the contract was started on first January, and we are closing the accounts on 31st December. So how much expenditure we have incurred? Material issued from stores. This contractor is having a go down stores. From those stores, some material is issued to the site contract. This will be taken on the debit side of contract account. Materials purchased. Some material is directly purchased from the market and sent to the site. So, some material stores se bhi jaare, or some material directly market se khareed kar site par bhi jaati. So, both the material will be taken on the debit side of contract account. Labor at site. Labor at site means wages paid at site, debit side of contract account. Indirect expenses, debit side of contract account. Plant issued, debit side of contract account. material return to stores first of all material will be issued from stores to site stores se site pe material bhejayenge ab material kuch bach gaya unconsumed not consumed those material will be returned back to stores to material return to stores will be taken the credit side of contract account jab stores se site pe gaya to debit side साइट पर से वापस स्टोर्स को आ गया तो क्रेडिट साइड मेटीरियल रिटर्न फ्रॉम स्टोर्स मेटीरियल लॉस्ट बाय फायर दिस इज एन एबनॉर्मल लॉस कुछ फायर हो गया तो ये फायर एक्सपेक्टेड होता है या अनएक्सपेक्टेड इट्स अनएक्सपेक्टेड सो ऑल अनएक्सपेक्टेड थिंग्स आर एबनॉर्मल थिंग्स तो दिस मेटीरियल लॉस्ट बाय फायर इज एन एबनॉर्मल लॉस इट विल नॉट बी टेकन इन कंसिडर्ड फॉर नोशो प्रॉफिट नोशो प्रॉफिट कैलकुलेट करते हो एबनॉर्मल लॉस को नहीं लेना तो मेटेरियल लॉस्ट बाय फायर विल बी टेकन द क्रेडिट साइड ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अकाउंट देन मेटेरियल्स एट साइट ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसंबर टू नाइनटीन सेवेंटी नाइन मेटीरियल एट साइट यानी एट द एंड ऑफ द इयर सम मेटीरियल्स आर नॉट कंज्यूम्ड स्टिल लाइंग एट द साइट तो दिस मेटेरियल विल बी टेकन ऑन द क्रेडिट साइड ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अकाउंट प्लांट एट साइट तो प्लांट इश्यूड वॉज वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड जब प्लांट बिगिनिंग ऑफ द ईयर पे इश्यू करे साइट के ऊपर तो उसका वैल्यू वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड था ड्यूरिंग द होल ईयर प्लांट वाज यूज्ड एट द साइट एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर द वैल्यू ऑफ द प्लांट इज वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड तो वैल्यू ऑफ द प्लांट एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर विल बी टेकन ऑन द क्रेडिट साइट तो प्लांट इश्यूड विल बी टेकन ऑन डेबिट साइट वैल्यू ऑफ प्लांट एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर विल बी टेकन ऑन द क्रेडिट साइट 
cash received on account up to 31st December amounted to 2,24,000 representing 80% of work certified. Again, work certified not given. We have to find out work certified. How cash received into 100 by 80 just like the previous problem. So here 2,24,000 into 100 by 80, you will get work certified. Then the remaining 20% being retained till compl until completion. This is called retention money. Then the work finished but not certified. Uncertified work is 40,000. Prepare the contract account. It is asking you to make the contract account. And state the proportion of profit the contractor would be justified in taking to the credit of PL account. So how much the contractor should take the profit and credit it to profit and loss account. And also prepare contractees account. So two accounts we have to make contract account and contractees account, right? So first of all, contract account. See here. Contract account for the year ending 31st December 1979. So see carefully, debit side we take all expenditure to material issued from stores to, to material purchased to labor at site, to indirect expenses, to plant issued. These are all the expenditure. Now credit side, we take work in progress, WIP. Work in progress consists of two items, work certified and work uncertified. See here, work certified, it is not given in the problem. So we multiply cash received into 100 by 80. Cash received is given in the problem 2,24,000. So 2,24,000 into 100 by 80, 80% 80 cash is received. So 2,80,000 is the work certified we have calculated. Work uncertified 40,000 given in the problem. Then material return to stores, credit side. Then material lost by far, credit side. Material at site on 31st December, at the end of the year some material unconsumed at site, 4,000. Plant at site at the end of the year, 1,20,000. Now take the total on the credit side. The credit side total is 4,54,000. Take the total on both the sides 4,54,000. From 4,54,000 subtract. Subtract all debit items. So you will get the balancing figure notional profit. How much notional profit? 54,000. Now here notional profit balancing figure again 54,000. This will be carried down. Here it is brought down. Total ke upar carry down again, total ke niche by notional profit brought down 50. Now out of 54,000, some profit will be transferred to profit and loss account and some profit will be transferred to reserve. And that depends on working note. Working note, we will know how much profit to be transferred to profit and loss account. Now see here, percentage of work completed. The profit to be transferred to PL account depends on how much work has been completed. So this is formula hai, work certified by contract price into 100. So work certified 2,80,000 we got it and contract price is given in the problem for uh, 6 lakh. Contract price is 6 lakh. So 2,80,000 divided by 6 lakh into 100, 46.67% that means it is below 50%. 50% se kam hai. So what is the rule? The rule is the profit to be transferred to PL account if the contract is completed above 25% but below 50% then notional profit into 1 by 3. Notional profit into 1 by 3. Agar 50% se zyada hota to 2 by 3 lete the. 50% se kam hai 1 by 3 into percentage of cash received. So notional profit we got 54,000 into 1 by 3 into 0 0.8 you will get 14,400 is a profit to be transferred to PL account. So here I have taken 14,400. Now 54,000 minus 14,400, 39,600 is the amount transferred to reserve, transferred to work in progress, balancing figure. That's all. This is the contract account. Now it is also asking you to make the contractee's account. The contractor has received 2,24,000 rupees from contractee. So what is the journal entry he will pass? Bank account debtor to contractee's account. When he receives the cash, he will pass the entry bank account debtor to contractee's account. So contractee's account is credited by bank 2,24,000. Now we have to carry it down, brought down. Now we have 2,24,000. Or the entry 
So 2,24,000 on the debit side, credit side and debit side will take to balance carried down 2,24,000 by balance brought down 2,24,000. That means the contract is account is showing a credit balance in the books of the contractor. Uh, suppose I am the contractor in my books, the contract is account is showing a credit balance. So it should be taken on the liability side of the balance sheet, but it will not be shown on the liability side. It will be deducted from work in progress on the asset side of the balance sheet. So accounting rule kya hai? Ye jo credit balance bata ra contract ki account ka, this balance should not be taken on the liability side. It should be deducted from work in progress on the asset side of the balance sheet. That's all. So two problems I have explained you in detail. Come on viewers. Now we'll start the next problem, problem number three. Two problems we have completed, main problems. Now I'm reading out the third problem. Prepare a contract account from the following particulars. Material issued from stores. So we have to prepare a contract account. So material issued from stores, debit side. Material purchased, debit side. Plant installed at site, debit site. Establishment charges, debit site. Material returned to stores, credit site. Wages paid, debit site. Wages accrued, debit side. Add to wages. Wages paid and wages accrued both will be added and taken on the debit side. Then direct expenses debit side, indirect expenses debit side. Material transferred to another account credit side. Material on hand at site credit side. Depreciation on plant. Actually plant installed will be taken on debit side. On credit side by plant value at the end. So how to find out plant value at the end? Plant installed minus depreciation. Plant installed means depreciation 20% minus. So we will get the closing value of plant. The beginning of the year the plant installed was 50,000. 50,000 rupees was the plant installed. So debit side will take plant installed 50,000. Credit side will take by plant value at the end 50,000 minus 20%. So 20% of 50,000 is 10,000. So 50,000 minus 10,000, 40,000 is the plant value at the end. That will be taken on the credit side. Then uh, material on a depreciation contract price is 10 lakh. Work certified 5 lakh. Work certified is given in the problem. Previous two problem it was not given, we have calculated. But here work certified is given 5 lakh. Then cost of work not yet certified, uncertified work 50,000. Cash received from the contract T, 4 lakh. So 5 lakh rupees ka work certify wa or contract T has paid 4 lakh rupees. Now see here, contract account. Debit side to material issued from stores to material purchase to plant installed to establishment charges to wages paid add accrued wages. Dono wages ko add kalengi. Direct expenses, indirect expenses. That's all. These are the items we should take it on the debit side. Credit side by work in progress, work certified, work uncertified, both will take. Material return to stores, material transferred to another account. Then material on hand, plant at site. Actually plant issued, installed jotha 50,000. 50,000 means 20% minus kardo. 10,000 minus kardo, 40,000 is the value of the plant. Now credit side if you take the total 6,70,000. From 6,70,000 subtract all debit values, we'll get notional profit 40,000. Notional profit 40,000. From this notional profit, we have to transfer some amount to profit and loss account and some amount to reserve. So how much profit to be transferred to PL account? It depends on percentage of work completed. It is given in the problem, the contract price was 10 lakh, but the work certified is 5 lakh. So it is obvious 50% work is completed. 50% work is completed. So when 50% work is completed, profit to be transferred to PL account is notional profit into 2 by 3 into cash received by work certified. Ye problem a percentage of cash received nahi diya. So instead of percentage, we can write this formula, we'll get the same answer. Doesn't make any difference. So cash received by work certified. So notional profit 40,000 into 2 by 3 into 4 lakh by 5 lakh 21,333. So out of 40,000, 21,333 should be the profit transferred to PL account. Balancing figure 18,667 will be transferred to WIP reserve. That's all. 
this is the end of problem number three. Now see the problem number four. Fourth problem you see. A PWD contractor's accounting year ends on 31st December every year. The following particulars led to contract number 714, which remains incomplete on 31st December 1975. So every year accounts are closed on 31st December. On 31st December 1975, the position of contract number 714 is as follows. Wages paid, debit side. Material used, debit side. Plant sent to site, debit side. Direct expenses paid, debit side. Value of plant on 31st December 1975, closing value of plant, credit side. Then work certified by the engineer. This is the work certified directly given, credit side, work in progress. Cost of work not yet certified, uncertified work, credit side. So work certified, WIT mein dono achize aate hai. work in progress na work certified and work uncertified. Agreed contract price, so contract price is given 2,50,000. Cash received 1,80,000. Wages accrued. Wages accrued will be added to wages on debit side. Then direct expenses accrued. Add to direct expense on debit side. Establishment charges. Debit side. Material on hand. Credit side. Prepare contract account creating p account with two third of the profit as reduced to cash received. So specifically given in the problem. Transfer to p account two third of the profit. So, notional profit, jo bhi aenga, usko two thirds se multiply karenge into cash received by work certified. So, here, debit side to material to wages to plant sent to side to direct expense to wages accrued. Actually, wages accrued should be added to wages. So, I have taken it separately. Whether you take it separately or whether you add it, add it to wages doesn't make any difference. So, to wages to wages accrued to direct expense accrued to establishment charges. All the items are taken on the debit side. By work in progress, work certified given in the problem, work uncertified given in the problem, plant at site at the end, material on hand. Take the total on the credit side, 2,15,560. From this, subtract all debit items, you are going to get 18,000 rupees notional profit carried down. This is the balancing figure. Now brought down, by notional profit brought down 18,000. From this 18,000, some profit is transferred to PL account and some profit to reserve. Now, how much profit to transfer karna specifically given in the problem? Two-third of the notional profit. So, notional profit into 2 by 3 into cash received by work certified. So, notional profit is given 18,000 into 2 by 3 into cash received. In the problem, given cash received 1,80,000. And work certified is given as 2,00,000. So, 10,800 is the profit to be transferred to PL account. Transfer to PL account. So remaining 7200 will be transferred to reserve. This is the end of problem number 4. So 4 main problems we have done, I have explained you in detail. If you closely watch the video, definitely you can get a good command on the topic of contract costing. Hope you are satisfied with my lecture. So if you are satisfied, please give a like to this video. And also share it in your group. Subscribe my channel. I want more and more viewers to get the benefit from these lectures. So share it, give your comment, like it and subscribe my channel. We will continue this in the next video, the remaining problems.